Hello learners, you are welcome to the Junior High School R on the Joy Learning Channel. My name is Colin Shea taking you through your ICT lessons for today. In today's lessons, we are looking at the basic storage devices. The basic storage devices. We looked at the hardware components and we said we have some hardware components that are connected outside the system units and these are the peripherals. Then we saw the component of peripherals as the input device, the output device, and the storage device. We have looked at input devices as the devices that will send data into the computer. And we said output devices display information to the user. In today's lessons, we are looking at the basic storage devices. And by the end of the lesson, the learner will be able to identify the types of storage devices and also state the use and importance of basic storage devices. What are storage devices? A storage device is any device that can be used to store data temporarily or permanently. To store data temporarily or permanently and at the same time too it can be used to retrieve information from them. When we say retrieve information, I'm thinking, I'm talking about assessing an information that has been stored on a particular media from the storage devices. So it's any device that can store information temporarily or permanently and at the same time retrieve information from them. Some examples of storage devices, we have the floppy drive, we have the zip drive, we also have a pen drive and then the optical drives, the optical disk as well as the hard disk. Let's look at the types of storage devices. The types of storage devices, we have two types of storage devices. We have the primary storage device and the secondary storage device. The primary storage device and the secondary storage device. And when we say primary storage device, we're talking about the main hardware device or the main storage device. This is the medium that holds data for a short period of time while the computer is running. Any media or any device that holds information temporarily, as I said for the definition, said it holds information temporarily or permanently. So any device that holds information temporarily is referred to as the primary storage device. An example is the RAM. When we say RAM, RAM means random access memory. Random access memory. It's a random access memory because it keeps information while the computer is in use. It keeps information while the computer is in use. Then we have the cache as well. Then we also have another, the secondary storage device being the storage device that does the opposite of the primary. The primary stores information temporarily, but the secondary stores information permanently. It keeps information permanently until the user deletes it or the user overwrites it. Once it has been stored on a particular secondary storage device, it means it cannot be altered or it cannot be changed until the user decides to delete it or the user decides to overwrite it. Unlike the primary storage that keeps information while the computer is in use, the secondary storage device keeps information even if the computer is not in use. In the examples, we have the hard disk, we have the optical disk, and then the pen drives. The hard disk, the optical disk, and the pen drives are examples of secondary storage. Then we have the difference between the hard, the primary, and the secondary storage. The difference is that the primary storage is a temporary storage. It's a temporary storage, as we said, because it keeps information while the computer is in use. If there is any alter or there is any power outage, the information will be lost. But for the secondary storage, it is a permanent storage. It keeps information 
permanently until the user decides to delete it. And then we also have the primary storage being expensive and smaller. The primary storage is expensive and smaller, but the secondary storage is cheaper and larger. Cheaper and larger. Then the primary storage is faster. It's faster as compared to the secondary storage. Now, we look at another component of storage known as the storage media. The storage media. A storage media is any hardware device that keeps information for future use. Any device that has the ability to store information for future use becomes a storage media. So some examples are the floppy disk. The floppy disk can store information for future use. Then we have the optical disk. As we go deep into deeper, we see what an optical disk is and what it encompasses of. Then we also have the hard disk. The hard disk too stores information for future use. Then we have the memory cards and the pen drives. All these media will help you to store data that is written and that, that help you to store any written data or information. Then we said the storage media or the storage device has the ability to retrieve information. So just as we have the storage media, we have a corresponding storage device that can help us to retrieve the information. So we can also see a storage device can help us to retrieve an information that is stored on a storage media. So let's see a storage media and the corresponding storage device. We said the storage media it has the ability to store information that is written any any device that, that can store information is a storage media and we also said the storage device is also a hardware device that is that stores information either temporarily or permanently no one is there but we want to we want to focus on the retrieving part if you have information on a storage media you have to insert it in a storage device to assess or to retrieve the information. So the first example of storage media we saw there is the floppy disk. Is the floppy disk. If you have information on the floppy disk and you want to retrieve information on that floppy disk, then we have to put it into a storage device known as the floppy drive. The floppy drive. Then the next example of we saw was the hard disk. The hard disk. The hard disk or the hard drive. So the hard disk is, is a particular device that can both serve as a storage device and a storage media. Then the next one we saw was the optical disk. The optical disk. Depending on the type of optical disk, you put it in the corresponding optical drive. We we'll look at the optical disk as I said as we go on. Then we also have the memory card. The memory card also is used to insert, you have to insert it in a particular hole known as the memory slot or the memory port. So as we have a storage media, we have its corresponding storage device. You cannot put an optical disk inside a floppy drive to assess information. That's why we are saying every storage media has its corresponding storage device. And the last one there is the pen drive. If you have a pen drive, you want to assess information on the pen drive, you put it inside the USB port. You put it inside the USB port to assess the information on the pen drive. Now let's look at some types of storage media. Some types of storage media. We have the 
magnetic storage media, we have the optical storage media, and then we have the solid state storage media. The magnetic storage media, the optical storage media, and the solid state storage media. All these are some types of storage media. So look at these storage media one after the other. The first one we look at is the magnetic. The magnetic storage media utilizes magnetic patterns, magnetic patterns to represent their information. So any device that has the ability to use a magnetic pattern to represent information or to store information is a magnetic storage media. In examples, we have the, we have some examples of storage, magnetic storage media as the floppy disk, the hard disk, and the zip disk. These devices are magnetic storage media because they help to retrieve or they help to store information using magnetic patterns. The next, so we look at the first storage media or the first magnetic storage media known as the floppy disk. The floppy disk you are seeing is a round flat piece. The floppy disk is a round flat piece of plastic. A round flat piece of plastic. That's one feature we can use to describe the floppy disk. It is a round flat piece of plastic. The keyword there is plastic. And it is in, in that it is placed inside a hard jacket sealed in a square. It is placed inside a hard jacket. This is the hard jacket we are talking about. And it is also sealed in a square plastic case. And that becomes the square plastic case. The square plastic case. So this image we are seeing on our screen here is a floppy disk. It is floppy disk. And that, that square plastic case is there to protect the flop, to protect the round piece from being touched. So this seal here is there to protect the round piece from being touched. So anytime you see any device, something like this here, it is what a floppy disk. It is a floppy disk. Another name for a floppy disk is a disket. It's a disket. Another name for floppy disk is a disket. Now let's look at the types of floppy disk. Types of floppy disks. We have the three and a half inch floppy disk and we have the five and quarter inch floppy disk. And the amount of space on the floppy disk is measured in megabytes. The amount of space is measured in megabytes. And if, if the amount of space is measured in megabytes, what is the actual capacity or what is the actual amount of information a floppy disk can hold? Floppy disks or diskettes can hold information up to 1.44 megabytes. It can hold information up to 1.44 megabytes, which is very, very small. It's very, very small in terms of information that is being stored nowadays. So m most of modern, most modern computers have replaced all the floppy drives with the USB ports. With the USB ports, you will get there. Now let's look at some advantages of the floppy disk. Some advantages of the floppy disk. The floppy disk is inexpensive and then they are portable. It is inexpensive and it is posta it's portable. It means it can easily carry it wherever you go. And then some of the disadvantages that the capacity of the floppy disk is very, very, very low as compared to other storage media. Then access time for the floppy disk is very slow because it has a very slow space. Anytime you are copying information on it, it takes time. And if you want to access information on it as well too, it takes time. So that's for the floppy disk. Then we, we talk about the we look at the hard disk when we are looking at the components inside the system unit. We saw that the, comp the, the hard disk 
is the main storage media in the system the main storage medium in the system unit and it has a very large capacity and it stores more information than any other storage media so we say the hard disks are a thin or it's a thin but rigid metal when we're looking at the plastic when we're looking at the diskette we say the diskette is a plastic but for the hard disk you are seeing it is a hard rigid metal the hard rigid metal is one feature of the hard disk and it's it's, it's it's made of glass or ceramic plates this this circle inside there is our glass or our ceramic plate and it's this plate that the information on the, of the hard disk is stored of ceramic plates covered with substances that allows data to be held in the form of magnetic spots so it is this particular feature here this particular feature here known as the plates help to store information on the hard disk and as it is being read the tiny metal here that is covered also runs the hard disk to assess the information in magnetic form or magnetic spots or magnetized spots so that's basically about the hard disk you saw the hard disk as I, as I said you saw it more when we're looking at the components inside the system unit so let's look at some differences between the hard disk and the floppy disk the first difference as i said is the metallic and the plastic components so the hard disk consists of metallic plates it consists of metallic plates and the this and the and the disket consists of mylar plastics so the difference there is the metallic and the plastic components then the hard disk stores more data the hard disk stores more data we saw the floppy disk has the capacity to store up to 1.44 megabyte but the hard disk as i said it stores more data than any storage media then the hard disk is mostly fixed inside the system units the hard disk is always permanently fixed inside the system units but the floppy disk is mostly externally used because you said the hard the floppy disk is portable then it is easy to carry it around but the hard disk since it is the main storage media medium inside the system unit stores or is always fixed inside the system unit and we look at the other type of storage device known as the storage media known as the optical storage media the optical storage media and this is the the storage medium that uses light technology any storage media that uses light technology to read and write data programs is referred to as the optical storage media it's a storage medium that can be written to and read using a low powered laser or a light beam so any storage media that uses light technology to read and write data programs onto it is what we refer to as the optical storage media in examples we have the blu-ray disc we have blu-ray disc the blu-ray disc is an example of the storage or optical disc when we're looking at the storage media and the corresponding storage devices we saw optical disc examples of optical disc uh, what you're looking at we have the blu-ray disc we have the compact disc and then we have the digital versatile disc dvd we have the blu-ray disc the compact disc and the digital versatile disc now let's look at the compact disc and its components the first component of the compact disc we look at is the cdr the cdr where the cdr means compact disc recordable compact disc recordable and this kind of disc allows the user to read data onto it once once you copy information 
onto a compact disc recordable it cannot be altered and it cannot be changed the kind of disc that allows users to write data programs onto it only once and i said once data is written onto it it cannot be altered or it cannot be changed and it can store data up to 700 megabytes we saw the floppy disk stores information up to 1.44 megabytes but the flop but the compact disk recordable or any compact disk in general stores information up to 700 megabytes another component of the compact disk we look at is the compact disk rewritable the compact disk rewritable that one to the compact disk so that one to stores information up to 700 megabytes but the difference between the compact disk recordable and the compact disk rewritable is the fact that the compact disk recordable rewritable allows users to erase any data that has been stored onto it the recordable cannot be changed cannot be altered but with the record rewritable information you put on that particular compact disk can be altered and it can be changed so this kind of disk allows users to erase data so that the disk can be used over and over and over again and that's the major difference between the compact disk recordable and the compact disk rewritable we have the dvd or the digital digital disk another example as we saw in the in the optical disk we saw the blu-ray disk we saw the compact disk and we saw the dvd or the digital digital disk the dvd is also a disk that allows users to write data onto it once just as we have the cdr and the cdrw we also have the dvd recordable and dvd rewritable all of them have the same features one has the ability to erase and the other one has the ability not to erase so that one too the difference between the their sizes is that the dvd the dvd stores information up to 4.7 gigabytes it stores information up to 4.7 gigabytes the compact disk stores information up to 700 megabytes so we can look at we can see the differences the differences the first differences is that the compact disk holds more data than the compact disk the dvd holds more data than the compact disk 4.7 is higher than 700 megabytes so that's the difference there and then you can see because of the sizes they are more expensive the dvd is more expensive and the cd is less expensive it's more expensive not that much but it's expensive though you can see if you say a dvd is maybe three cities or five cities the compact the, this compact dex will be maybe three cities or two cities 50 per space so that's the difference you're talking about five cities for dvd and then two cities or three cities for compact disc then because of the vast space on it too whenever you are copying information onto the compact disc it takes time as compared to the com when you are copying information onto the dvd it takes time as compared to the compact disc so that's the difference there now let's look at some terminologies when it comes to optical disc optical disc terminologies the first one we we'll look at is the burning burning when we say burning it is the process of copying or writing information onto the compact disc burning is the process of copying information onto the compact disc or the digital digital disc so if you have a compact disc and you want to copy information onto it it is referred to as burning 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 is the process of copying information or writing information onto a cd or a dvd then the next technology is called ripping ripping and this is the process of copying information from 
the compact disc or from the digital versatile disc. The process of copying information from the CD or from the DVD is referred to as ripping. So the opposite of burning is ripping. As you are copying information onto it, you are burning it. If you are copying information from it, you are ripping it. Let's look at some importance of the optical disc. Some importance of the optical storage media. They are portable and can be read on many different devices. They are portable and can be read on many devices. It means if you have a compact disc, a co if you have a DVD, a DVD, you can access information on a DVD with the DVD drive when we're looking at the storage device and storage media. But if you have a, a compact disc as well, you can access information on a compact disc also from the DVD drive. But you cannot, if you have a DVD, a DVD, you can also access information with, your, with the compact disc drive. But if you have the compact disc, you can access the information on the compact disc from a DVD drive. So they are portable and can be read from many different devices. The devices can be also maybe if you have a disc player, a disc player too, you can access information on that particular device as well. So it's not only the computer that can that you can access information with from there. If you if, if you want to access information on a compact disc, it's not, you, know, you don't need only the computer. You can have your any DVD player or any CD player to also access them. Then they are inexpensive. They are inexpensive. Even though I was saying five CDs and three CDs, they are inexpensive. Then the memory is retained even when the power is off. So it means. The, co the, op the compact disc or the optical disc is also a secondary media or a secondary device because whenever there is power off or there is any power outage, it still maintains the information on it. Then the disadvantages is that they require a special software to copy or to write information. As I said, burning is copying information onto a particular storage a particular optical disc but if you want to do the burning process you need a special software you need a special software the, uh, some examples of this software you can have the the Nero you, you can have the Nero the Nero software that one can help you to then you can also have the a uh, shampoo the a uh, shampoo software too can also help if you don't have this software readily available on your device or on your computer then you cannot copy information onto the optical media then they have smaller storage cap capabilities as i said the hard disk is the storage media that has the highest storage capacity so if you are comparing the storage the hard disk to any of the dvd to any dvd or any compact disk they have very small storage capabilities. So let's look at the difference between optical disk or optical storage and then magnetic storage. You said the magnetic uses or they store data in a magnetic form and the optical store data using light technology. And then the magnetic disk or the magnetic storage media, because of the hard disk, it has high storage capacity. But for the optical disk, whether the DVD or the CD, they still have less storage capacity than the hard disk. Now we've been we've been seeing disk and disk. We've been seeing disk. We've been seeing disk, and we've been seeing disk. What's the difference? The differences between these two disk and disk. As students make a lot of mistakes when they are comparing this disk and the other disc the disc with the c the disc with the c at the end refers to all optical media refers to all optical media so if you want to write any optical media blu-ray disc because the blu-ray disc is kind of optical media it has the c at the end so every optical media uses the c at the end 
all these all discs are removable when you see something is removable it means you have to either press an eject button before it comes out for you or it comes out from the particular device so the disc the if the c refers to all optical storage media then the k also refers to all magnetic storage media all magnetic storage media end with a k and end with a k so we have the disk so we can say hard disk hard disk with a k because the disk the hard disk is a magnetic storage media we cannot say hard disk we cannot say hard disk because hard disk is not a it's, it's not an optical storage media we can say compact disk compact disk because it's an optical storage media but you cannot write compact disk because it is not a magnetic storage media so that's the difference between the disk and the disk then all disks are rewritable when we're looking at the compact disk rewritable we said it is the device that, that makes the user erase and write more or write new things on the compact disk for the disk to be used over and over again but for the disk the magnetic disk they are all rewritable unless the user intentionally locks it or puts a right protection on it then the storage or the magnetic storage media becomes what readable or becomes recordable only but if the user does not put any code or any or does not lock it all storage all magnetic storage media are re re writable then let's look at the last component of the last example of storage media or last type of storage media which is the solid state storage media this uses flash memory flash memory to read and write data so any device that uses magnetic storage mag magnetic to magnetic that, that uses magnets or magnetic way to keep information is the magnetic storage media any device that uses light technology to read information is the optical storage media but any device that uses flash memory to read and write data is also a solid state storage media and examples are the pen drives and the memory cards so when we say a pen drive another name for pen drive is the usb stick or a flash drive you can see a usb stick for a pen drive or a flash drive and it consists of a circuitry on a small size card so we have the the circuitry there on a small sized card that can be inserted into an opening we can be inserted into an opening known as the usb port or the universal serial bus so if you have a pen drive and the minutes our pen drive here that's the circuitry there consists of a circuitry on a small sized card so that's the circuitry on the small sized card and that is inserted into an opening known as the usb port so this is a pen drive you are seeing on our board there let's look at some reasons why the pen drive is important the pen drive can hold large quantities of data the size the size of a pen drive can vary it can vary from 16 gigabytes or 8 20 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes so any size then they are extremely portable and also they are durable because they have no moving parts cannot be you cannot move any part from the pen drive it is durable then some of the disadvantages that because it is small 
it is most likely to get lost or it's most likely to be stolen and then because the circuitry is there it may wear out because of repeated use you insert you remove you remove you insert they are all making the circuitry lose or wear out then we look at the flash card or the flash memory they are also storage media that is inserted into the memory memory port as i said or the memory slot inside a camera or a smartphone or any other mobile device that one too it has the same importance as the pen drive they can hold data in large quantities they are portable extremely portable because of the size and they can be they are durable they also have they don't have any moving parts you can have a memory card something like this or it can be a memory card because it has no moving parts and then the disadvantage is that because it's small it can also get lost or can be easily stolen and it is very difficult because most computers do not come with memory card readers that are inbuilt if you have a laptop you have a memory card reader that is inbuilt if you have a, a desktop computer most desktop computers do not have these memory card readers that are inbuilt and let's look at some important of storage devices they can store data they can be used to create backup they can be used to transfer data they can also be used to share data all these ones are some importance of they are all some importance of the storage device because he said it's used to either store information temporarily or permanently it can also be used to create backup if you have the hard disk you can use the hard disk to create a backup then it can also be used to transfer data the pen drive can use to be transfer data from one computer to another then it can also to share data if your friend is far from you and copy it and send it and share with your friend so when we say backup we are talking about storing a copy of a data on a different storage media so that it can be used when the original one is lost or when there is any disaster and you lose and you, and you lose the original one then you fall on the backup because you have stored it externally or you have stored it on a different storage media In summary, what, what have we learned today? We have been able to identify the types of the, the, the types of the basic storage devices. Then we have also been able to identify the uses and the importance of these basic storage devices. The types we saw the optical storage de device or the optical storage media, we saw the magnetic storage media, and then we, we saw the solid state storage media and the uses we said is used to store it's used to backup it's used to transfer and it's also used to share data hope you enjoyed today's lessons my name is Collins J. Mesa and I, I took you through your ICT lessons for today take care of yourselves and keep safe bye bye